I'm Lieutenant Michelle Ramos with the San Antonio Police Department. This critical incident video release is intended to provide you with information, as the department currently understands it, about an officer-involved shooting that occurred on June 23, 2023 at the 6200 block of Old Pearsall Road. I will walk you through the video relevant to the facts of this incident as we know them so far. Content of this video may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. At approximately 12.27 a.m., officers were dispatched to the location for a vandalism incident where a woman cut wires to an alarm panel at an apartment complex. The caller provided officers a detailed description of a Hispanic woman that resided at the complex. Officers contacted the woman outside of the parking lot and identified her before she fled into her apartment, locking herself inside. Officers followed her to her residence located on the first floor. Attempting to arrest the woman, officers removed the screen to the window that was already open. Officers observed the woman grab a hammer while inside her apartment, and an officer drew his weapon and notified the dispatcher that he had her at gunpoint. Additional officers then made the scene. The woman, while inside her home, threw a glass candle at the officers, striking an officer in the arm, causing minor injuries. Officers communicated with the woman through the open window for over 30 minutes. As officers jumped over the railing to the patio of the residence, the woman ran with a hammer in her hand, striking the window and shattering it. One officer fired multiple rounds towards the woman, but it did not appear she was struck by the gunfire. The woman moved away from the window, but then came back towards the patio door, still holding the hammer in her hand. At this time, two other officers shot towards the woman, along with the first officer who fired the first round of gunshots. The woman was struck by the gunfire and later pronounced deceased by EMS. No one other than the woman was injured by the gunfire. She was later identified as Melissa Perez, 46 years of age. Here is body camera footage of a second officer at the scene. Here is body camera footage of the third officer at the scene. So we have all this evidence. Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You ain't got no work. Hey, hey, hey. Here is footage from another officer present at the scene, but who did not discharge their firearm. Investigations into deadly force are comprehensive and can take over a year. A reminder, this is our current understanding of the situation and could change as investigators gather more information. In this incident, the three officers were immediately suspended without pay, pending a full investigation. The department's current understanding is based on both the camera footage and information gathered from officers at the scene. All officer-involved shootings are forwarded to the Bear County District Attorney's Office for review. As of this publication, the investigation remains ongoing.